Okay, so ISFP versus INFP, perhaps you've been a sensor all along. A lot of INFPs, they wonder if they are actually just mistyped ISFPs, and so I think this time we make this video. What is the key problem with being an INFP? Well, first, existential anxiety. Who am I? What is my purpose? What am I meant to do? Who, what is my most authentic version of myself? What is the ISFP's three key questions about themselves? How can I protect myself from the judgment of other people? How can I make sure other people don't laugh at me or look down on me or bully me? How can I stand up for myself to others? ISFPs come from sensing and introverted sensing in particular and that's why they have a very strong sense of self already. They are already very very sure of themselves and who they are. They innately know who they are and they have already a very strong self image that they can access by looking at who they've been and who they hang out with and what their uh, key interests have been in life, what they've enjoyed most, what they've done most often. And those things, things, they will stay a key parts of their life for the rest of their life. And so it gives them a base certainty. They don't have that need to question themselves or to wonder, but is this really me? Is this really who I am? Is this my tr most true version of myself? No, they feel they know who they are and they <laughs> or know themselves almost too much at times. INFPs, they don't really know themselves and they're going to be on a quest to figure out who they are for the rest of their lives. So they are constantly revisiting and introspecting to figure out, is this me? Is that me? Was that who I was? Was that authentic? Was that real? Was I telling the truth when I said this? That means a lot of time the INFP pulls from introverted intuition as their flow function. It is something they enjoy and something that gives them in, uh, curiosity, something that makes them reflect on and think about who they are and what they are meant to do and where they come from. And it gives them a lot of insight into themselves and other people. INFPs, they make excellent reads of people because they can see not just their own perspective, but the perspective of other people. How do other people see me? What do other people think about me? How do other people experience me? And what makes my perception more real than their perception? INFPs, they also see themselves from multiple perspectives and they can change perspectives very easily. They can go, but from this perspective or from that person's eyes, I'm that person or I, I'm like that. But from this person's point of view, I'm more like this. And so they can get a more inclusive, multi-layered version of or sense of self. ISFPs, they tend to have an identity that kind of punches you in the face. Basically what they do is they know themselves so well, but they're also attuned towards, you know, that ESFP style of provocative self-expression. You know, they see their identity as something that has to be expressed and put out into the world. Something that cannot be hid from other people, something that has to be expressed. So it is a part of their work, what they do, how they talk, how they act. They show themselves in everything they do and it's almost impossible to miss an ISFP because a lot of times ISFPs they have very strong senses of identity and often very unique senses of self-expression. And they're inclined to make it more concrete and more real and more intense because they are sensing types and they see identity as something that is not just inside or mental but also physical, something that is a reflection of your body, your actions and your who you hang out with and how you dress and how you wear and how you talk. So in that point of view, INFPs, they are people that often hide a lot of their identity from other people. INFPs are rather secretive types, you know. They go into themselves and they uh, think about who they are, but they often don't share it with anyone. They often don't talk about themselves. They don't uh, necessarily reveal themselves. And a lot of time their work and their actions and their lifestyle is completely different to who they really are. So they can live lives, false lives almost, that uh, have no connection to their authentic self, while inside, on the inside, they have a very rich and vivid inner world with lots of different perspectives and experiences and feelings and viewpoints that are very real to them and that are very important to them. A lot of time, these things they carry with them in everything they do, but nobody knows or notices or sees this in the INFP. 
ISFPs, they are also more sensing than the INFP in the sense that they are incredibly perceptive of other people. They are very, very aware of how they are perceived and how they come across. They study people very much and they try to see what other people do and what other people are like. And they try to think, who am I in this? Who am I in this party or in this setting, setting or at this workplace? What is my role, my identity, my purpose? Uh, the problem is a lot of time the ISFP can have a base insecurity about this. Like, uh, how do I uh, perform in my role? How do I fit in? How do I blend in? And that's why a lot of time ISFPs are more prone to uh, simply following along the other people, simply doing what everyone else does, simply uh, like... Uh, going with the crowd on a lot of matters and a lot of issues. Eyes of peace are people that uh, sometimes uh, simply observe and simply look and simply follow along without asking questions. While I of peace, there are people that constantly ask questions. Why would you do that? Why, what made you think that was a good idea? Why do you feel, why do we have to be in part of this? Why do we have to go to that party? Why do we have to hang out with these people? INFPs, they're a lot more likely to question the norms and the beliefs of the world around them. ISFPs are more likely to be inspired by it than to go, oh, so these are the norms and laws of society. How can I be myself in this world? How can I speak up for myself and fit in and make peace with this world? So the ISFP is often a person that is on a quest to be accepted and to make peace with the global, the social community around them. INFPs, they're people that seek to distance themselves from it. So two very different types, ISFP or INFP, which type do you relate to the most? What are you feeling the most? What struggle is the biggest in you?